Because I'm keen on low-tech stuff, I've hosted a permaculture technology jamboree for several years now. Usually about a dozen instructors leading a bunch of builds showing off their expertise. I'm hoping to spread awareness of earthen building and appropriate technologies. Developing communities centered around food, food preservation, food sharing. I want to see if there can be a low smoke, low fuel wood kiln. A lot of the way that the infrastructure of civilization is put together is highly destructive. You can't do that forever. We need more people who feel confident in their ability to build something out of nothing. So it outperforms the conventional standard materials. Completely fire resistant. Do you want me to show you the propane thing? This is Pepper the goat and Angel the goat. If you get to really be with them, then you see how easy it is. I have hoogles at my property that we have not watered in five years. We have all kinds of things growing. How to fell a tree, size the tree properly, how to lay out a saddle notch and cut a saddle notch. He started with a system that worked up to providing like 400 gallons of really beautiful water every day. Sourdough granola, the lime pickled eggs, strawberry rhubarb jam, garlic dill pickles, our kombucha, escabeche, kimchi. The rocket heaters have set aside for me a major impediment to happiness. It had to be possible, and it totally is. Here, everybody's kind of on the same page, and so you can go farther with a conversation. Figuring out how to make the infrastructure of civilization actually regenerative. You get to build things that are beautiful. You get to advance methods, techniques, and schools of thought that make the world a better place, that make the broken things heal a little more. And uh, I think it makes a big difference. <laughs>